Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to rotate around your character and also how to zoom in and out towards your character. So it's going to look something like this. As you can see I have the mouse right here and when I move it to the right side of the viewport it rotates around the character. And when I move it to the other side it rotates the other way. Now I can also zoom in and out towards the character using the mouse wheel. So I'll show you how to do this. Right here I created a new scene and you need to have your character and all that ready. First thing we need to do is add a camera which I already did and position it behind your character to about right here. Then once you have your camera added select your character or your collision box and hit shift s cursor selection now hit space, add, empty. Select your camera, hold shift, and right click the empty and hit control P, make parent. So that now your camera is parented to the empty. Now with the empty we're going to create the rotation of the camera. So with the empty selected and at frame 1 hit I, rotation. Now go to frame 1000 and hit R to rotate it and hit 90 to rotate it 90 degrees and hit I rotation go to frame 2000 rotate it 90 degrees I rotation go to frame 3000 do the same thing rotate it 90 degrees hit the I key and select rotation do it one more time I rotation. So now what we need to do with the empty selected, go to the logics tab and add a property, change it to integer and give it a name. I'm going to name it camera turn. Add a sensor, controller, and actuator. Connect them up and change the actuator to IPO and change it from play to property put in the name of this property which is camera turn basically what this does is it's going to treat this property as an IPO so when this number is at let's say 80 it will be like this frame is at 80 at frame 80 so it basically treats it as an IPO and also what you need to do now is change this number to 1 Go to top view and select your camera, hit shift S, cursor selection, and add a plane. Space, add mesh, plane. Select the plane, hold shift and select the camera, hit control C and we're going to copy the rotation. Now go down here to your transform manipulator and change it from global to normal so we can move the plane along its normal and move it right in front of the camera. Split the viewport by middle mouse clicking and in this viewport hit 0 to go into camera view and in this one hold shift and click the scaling manipulator and scale the plane down and move it to the right of your screen. Basically what this is going to do is when our mouse hovers over this it's going to make the camera turn. So say for example if you're zoomed in this far make sure that it's on the edge right here and remember that when you save game as runtime it only saves the part that's within the dotted lines so if you save game as runtime make sure that this is within the dotted lines. So for now I'm just going to place it right here hit shift D and move it along the X normal and place it on the other side so now you should have two planes one on this side and one on that side select both of the planes and hold shift and right click the camera and hit control P and parent it to there 
Now select the plane on the left side, add a sensor controller actuator, and change it from always to mouse, change it to mouse over, and change this to message, and type in a subject. I'm going to put turn one. Now go to your empty and add a sensor control actuator and change this to message subject is turn one and change this to property add property camera turn which is this one value one basically what this does is when our mouse is over this we also need an a we also need to enable the true level triggering so when our mouse is over this it's going to constantly send a message saying turn one which makes which adds a value to this to camera turn and since camera turn acts as an IPO it's basically going to be adding frames so now what we need to do we could test it but as you can see we don't have our mouse cursor showing so to make our mouse cursor show we just need to put a script in here the script I'm gonna put it in the description at the bottom so just highlight it and hit control C and copy it then on your second viewport go to text editor click here and add new hit control V to paste it and just rename it I'm gonna name it show mouse click your camera and add a sensor controller actuator or actually not an actuator just a sensor and controller and change the controller to python and put the name that you just renamed it which is show mouse so now if I go into camera view by hitting zero on the numpad and I hit P to play you can see that when I hover my mouse over this it turns but it's going really slow so to make it go faster or slower just select the empty and right here where it says value one just change this value if you want it to go faster put a higher value and if you want it to go slower put a lower value so I'm gonna put 13 if I hit P to play I hover over this it turns but you can see once it goes all the way around it stops and we don't want that we want it to just turn all the time so to do that select your empty and go to IPO curve editor and since the empty only rotates along the z-axis we're gonna delete these two so select the rotation X and hit X and erase it and also select the rotation Y and delete that too now hit A to select all of the rotation Z and hit E and select extrapolation and what this does is it makes the curve go on forever so now if we hit P to play if I leave my mouse here you can see that it will continue rotating around the character so that's it for this part of the tutorial and I will continue in part two